remember the first round last year when Craig Hodges hit for 25. Our next two competitors very quickly are out there ready to go. Danny Ainge, a replacement for Trent Tucker, of course Danny from Boston, and Michael Cooper from the Los Angeles Lakers. That's Cooper over on the left corner and Danny Ainge over in the right corner. They have one minute to try to shoot 25 balls. Five of these balls are worth two points each. Those are the ones that are red, white, and blue. to take to get the shot off. Cooper, much more of a set shooter. He doesn't really take that big jump. Gives him an advantage. And they have officials standing at each three-point line, as you can see on your split screen there. If they step over the line or on the line before they shoot the ball, it does not count, just as if they were in actual NBA competition. Now, just watch the body motion on these players. Compare it to Larry Bird when he cuts up. Notice how their whole upper body turns a great deal. They square up. They turn way over to the right. They come back again. They get a big swaying motion. That's very difficult to be consistent with that type of body motion. When you watch Larry Bird, he has minimal upper body motion. He said that's one of the keys to shooting effectively in this competition. Competition. Now the winner of this competition will get $12,500, second place $7,500, third place $5,500, and fourth place $2,500. Everybody else will get $1,000. So even for highly paid NBA athletes, $12,500 is worth a good effort, and there's the end of the music. And again, Ainge, the jumper, just as the last time Kikiway, Kiki Vandeway, they did not get all the shots up because they take that excessive jump and they can't gather themselves. Okay, now remember that the first two shooters scored, uh, Vandeweghe and Ellis scored 12 and 13 points respectively. We'll get the scores for these guys as we take a look at the shooting form of Michael Cooper. <laughs> and also the uh, anguish of Michael Cooper. <laughs> Thank you, Pete Maravich and Charlie Neal. And now we're ready for the semifinals, and this is great, Rick Barry. We have the matchup of the Celtics, Ainge on the right, Bird on the left. <laughs> well, they'll be talking about this the rest of the season. I just want you to know that we elect these to the Hall of Fame stick together. Thanks, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tend to agree with him. I think he's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so Larry Bird, who got in on a shoot-off by hitting only seven points in 24 seconds compared to six from his fellow shoot-off ease, Dale Ellis and Craig Hodges, will now compete head up with Danny Ainge. Ainge on the right, Bird on the left, repeating again. Now we're back to one minute, 25 balls. The brown one's one, the red, white, and blue ball worth two points. And I'll tell you right now, Larry Bird will, wants to win this one badly because if he does, an Ange will never let him live it down the rest of the season, or in fact, the rest of his career. It's interesting, a lot of the balls that Boston Celtics give, a, give Danny Ainge a hard time because he's such a, an aggressive, showy player. You might relate to this a little, Rick. Well, so did the other players on the other team, so that's nothing new for Danny. So if, if Danny age were to beat Larry Bird here it might it might quiet his tormentors on his team with the Celtics and we'll see what happens this is going to be great two Boston Celtics Larry Bird and Danny Ainge. Ainge on the right, Bird on the left. There starts the siren. 60 seconds of music and shooting from long range. Bird warming up now. He's having much more success from that corner, but he missed the two-pointer. Ainge struggling. Only got one in in the first rack. Bird just took another two in a row. Ainge does look as though he shots off some more in a row for Bird. Missed the two-pointer, though. That's a big ball to get that advantage ball in. Now Bird's struggling a little bit here. I still think they, the competitors seem to have a harder time at the top of the key. I agree with you. The straight on shot should be one. It should be made. I saw you at about six in a row yesterday. Again, you see Larry Bird way ahead of Danny Ainge because of the big jump you see Danny Ainge taking where Larry Bird with that patented, patented set shot of his. And he got the two-pointer Bird did there on the left side just then. We're getting down toward the end of the 60 seconds. Speed really counts here. Of course, they're all competing against each other, not just Bird against Ainge. That's correct, because there are four, only two will advance. The top two scores, it could be the same two fellas shooting at the same time. And Both of them released all of the basketball, all 25, but it looks clearly as though Bird won there. We'll get the official score in just a second. Uh, watch him here. You see him get hot. There's the first one going in. Larry with a good form. You see the minimum body movement. The second one goes in. The third one, he's really got it down to a sign. He hits the fourth one in a row, and he'll miss on the two-point shot. But Bird improving. Eight. eight for Ainge. For Larry Bird, 18. 18 for Larry Bird. I told you, you got to watch out for him when he gets going, Bob.